They told me, well, this one person had told me that since I wasn't coming, they told me I'm wasting everyone else's time. I'm wasting time even coming and why even go? They told me to stop going to school. I was essentially bullied every day. Um, then I was academy, it was like, eh. I was bullied, but just not as much. It was like one kid instead of like my entire class after me. Like if I ask my students what at risk means, they don't even realize they are. My name is Alexa Mingo. Emily Valdivia. Jack Rice. Carissa Garcia. Veronica Lopez. Squad Moitz. Ringo. I'm Travis McLean. At risk can be anything that would cause a person to potentially not graduate. So if all things were equal and everyone had everything all ducks in a row, great family life, enough money, um, excellent um, educational backgrounds of parents, um, no bullying, then, then we wouldn't have necessarily an at-risk category, but we do. Any one of those things, and it can be a myriad of things, um, causes someone to be at risk. All right, what's futile? Useless, we came up with that. Futile is D, 10 is, we know what that is, G. So what is vengeance then? Rage. Yes. Ha, I was right. Okay, good job. So the other one is F. Right. So let's go down the down the line. Are you guys ready? Excuse me. You got it. We could have used a thesaurus, couldn't we? Yes, we could have used a thesaurus. All right. Now. I like that you could be yourself. There's like no drama here. Like every everybody's like a family here practically. The teachers, how they help you out, better than other schools. Mm -hmm. and, like they focus on you like one on one individually, better than those. Like it seems like the teachers here, they're more focused on like, they don't really care if you're like different. They they just like want you to like succeed. You know, it's not like there's no judgment or anything like that. Well, at first I was kind of like I didn't think it was a good school because you know it was like small and stuff like that. But after like literally the first week, I started like I really liked it because. Like, the people here are so nice and teachers, and it's just like, it's like a little family already. Honestly, what I like is how it's, like, how it's art-based. Everything's really creative. Like, there's a lot of art and paintings by students in the school, and how the classrooms are, like, smaller, because it's just, you get to understand more. I found a dog because it was a new place. Um, later, later, it grew on me. I became quite popular here, which I was surprised at. Um... The teachers are great. Like in here, we're like kind of like a family all together. That is the term that across the board since I've been here and other students who have gone to the school, even if I didn't teach them, that's what they feel like. And um, at a base level, students need to feel like they belong and they need to feel that they're part of something. I'd be kind of upset because I haven't been here like so long and so far like my experience being here is like really great. I'd feel really bad. It'd be horrible. Nowhere else to go. Worst comes to worst and the school has to close down. Uh -huh. How would you react or feel? Well, it would break my heart. When I look at a metric, that's one piece of information on one person, but it doesn't tell the whole story. And so I would hope that people that came in here that maybe had that negative impression would recognize that they were privileged enough to have that kind of, to be able to have that kind of uh, interpretation and that there's many people in this world that weren't given the same set of circumstances that they may have been given. And it's not an excuse but it's a reality and a starting point for how do we get better.